everybody. All right, let me just get up my captions here. One sec. All right, how's everybody doing? Thank you for joining me today. I am Shakti and this is my Sunday stream. Today uh, I'm going to be working on socks. Um, so it's a fresh pattern, fresh start. I've never made these before. It's going to be an adventure for us all. So thank you for joining me on, on this today. Um, let's see, what did I work on over the last few days with regards to the stream? I'm working on the lighting, which is a problem. Uh, I can have half of my face in shadow and have the crafting look fine, or you can see me and have my crafting completely washed out. So these are my options. Um, perhaps if this continues on for some time, I may invest in better lighting, but for now, this is what we got. I will have myself lit up so that you can see my beautiful visage uh, in this portion of the stream. And then when we get to the actual crafting, I'll shut off this lighting and go into shadow because you're not here to actually see me you're here to see the knitting maybe who knows i'm i whatever it is what it is so with that today we're going to be starting a pair of socks uh they are the um bubbles down the drain pattern by very pink so if we type in uh, the command pattern in chat, you'll be able to see a link to the pattern uh, so that you can download it yourself. Let me do that for you right now. Excuse me. One sec here. Here we go. Good? Yeah. All right. So uh, as I've mentioned in the command there, it's this is a free download pattern. It's only available actually uh, through Ravelry. Very Pink does have a website, but they don't list the patterns themselves. You do have to go to Ravelry to get the, uh, the pattern. It is a free pattern, so if you do have an accessibility problem with Ravelry, just shoot me a message through any of my socials and I can send you the PDF. Since it is free, I don't have a problem doing that and I'm sure the designer doesn't either. Um, but I know that not everybody can access it without any problems. So as I said, if you have a problem, just shoot me a message and we'll go from there. So a bit about this pattern. Uh, it is a toe up sock. And the reason why I went with a toe up pattern is because I really dislike grafting. Um, grafting is, it's not hard, okay? So it, it is an easy thing to do, but it's something that I have to look up every time. Um, and I've just lost my captions. One sec, because I switched screens. There we go. Uh, it is something that I have to look up all the time. And it's frustrating to do that for every single, like between socks. I'll work on one sock, graph the toe, and then on the next sock, I've already forgotten how to do it. And even if it's five or six stitches, which it usually is, it's such a pain in my rear end to do it, and I don't like it. The less I have to actually pull out my sewing needle, the better. So I prefer a toe-up sock. Um, that also allows me to put it on and try it out properly, uh, in my opinion. I Going from a cuff down sock, I don't feel like I can really make the fit right. If I get to the portion where I have to add in the toe and then it's too long, that means I have to pull back quite a bit in order to do that. With a toe up sock, I can just put it on and go until I have enough. There's very little pulling back for me with a toe up sock. So this particular pattern, is interesting in that it starts with a provisional cast on. So rather than actually starting with the six or eight stitches at the end of the toe, it actually starts part way up the toe and works one side of the toe and then comes back up the toe. So you're it's it's starting maybe an inch and a half of toe and then 
the actual toe portion and back around and you're doing this all without seaming it's all with short rows so it's a really cool way of working a toe and I really like it it makes it so that we don't have to do a whole lot of uh, fancy casts on um, with it and it'll it'll look pretty nice we'll have a nice a nice toe when we're finished at that portion um, this is not the original pattern that I had planned to use today originally I had found a pattern that I wanted that was a far more intricate pattern it required a Judy's magic cast on which is fine and then a, a different type of toe and I for the life of me cannot remember what kind of toe it was but there was a, a whole new technique that I've never used before um, after the cast on which isn't a problem except that it required for the cast on and the way to work this toe I required a straight a double point needle and a cable needle in the size in the sock needle size and when I went to go pull my cable needles the smallest that I have is a three and a half millimeter and the size that I need for that pattern is two and a half millimeters so I didn't have the tools to actually get it started and what I my intention was to get that started off stream so that I had the toe already made um, because I knew it was going to be in depth and I would have to pay attention and if you've watched my previous streams you know that doing two things at once can be problematic for me apparently who knew uh, so that's where we're at with that other pattern I, in reading through the rest of the pattern I just felt it's going to be too intricate for me to really get into it on stream as well it's just it's one of those patterns where I'm gonna have to pay attention to what I'm doing not watch TV definitely not stream at the same time um, so this is I found an alternate pattern that seems to be is going to be a bit easier and it'll work for what we're going for so I'm going to switch over to the craft cam so you can see the yarn that I'll be using for this pattern and we'll get started. Bear with me here, I'm going to change the lighting so you can actually see. And get my captioning working again. Alright. Okay, so we've got... This is a small sample of the yarn. So it is... I can't even tell you what yarn I'm using today. Of course it's still washed out, isn't it? Sorry about that. Anyway, so maybe you can see a little bit more. No, it's still. Ah, lighting. It's gross. Gross. Uh, anyway, so basically, this is a white yarn with little flecks of blue and blue. There's some silver hidden in the blue, so it's going to be nice. It's not a striping or anything like that, it's just a textured textured white yarn. So that's what we'll be using today. And I had actually started, the reason why it's on a bobbin for part of it and not straight from the yarn bowl is because I started a different sock with this yarn and discovered that, so the sock that I had started was from a cat boardy book. I'm going to turn down this music a little bit because I feel like I'm shouting to overcome the music. All right, so the the pattern that I am that I was using was from a cat boardy book in order to teach knitters how to make their own pattern and craft their own sock um, for a perfect fit. And I had ended up with a sock that was not a word of a lie, probably five inches around at the middle of the foot, which is five inches above where I needed to be at the middle of my foot which was not ideal for me at all it looked like a hat I was putting a hat on my foot so obviously I was doing something wrong I triple checked my math because it involved all kinds of math and measurements and I checked everything over and I just could not find my error so um, it it now it's this is what I've got I've got the yarn I've pulled it out and I'll just find a pattern and work from the pattern rather than try and make my own sock. So I've just noticed that my mic is actually in this cam here so get, bear with me here I'm just gonna adjust hopefully that's that's still usable hopefully you folks can still see all right okay 
So let's get started. The pattern calls for a provisional cast on. So a provisional cast on uh, combines combines a crochet chain and then it knits off of the crochet chain. And what it does is it keeps live stitches on the crochet chain. So I'll show you how that works. Grabbing my crochet hook here, one sec, and my waist yarn. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to crochet 40 stitches in a chain on some scrap yarn. So yeah, this viewpoint for the camera is way better than it was last time, isn't it? So I'm going to do this loosely as well because what's going to happen is I'm going to crochet into the back bumps of the of the chain itself. So the chain will just be a holder for my live knitting stitches. Let's move that there. Okay. So I've got three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 40. Let's snip it off because I don't need all that extra thread at the end. And I've cast on 40 stitches. I've chained 40 stitches because, and we're only going to pick up 30. So the reason for this is it gives us a little bit on the outsides um, when it comes time to pull. That's going to be helpful. I've just put my scissors in the wrong spot. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Get that out of the way. And we'll just pull that through. So we're going to knit, as I said, we've got the chain and we're going to knit into the back bumps and we're going to just pick up 30 stitches from the back bumps of the chain. So I'll grab my knitting needles. stitches here. I may have to do this using a crochet hook. I don't, I'm not a fan of doing this via a knitting. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's try it. in because with a provisional cast on it's common to lose the first stitch so I'm actually going to knit 31 and ignore the first one so we're just going to pick these up as if they were stitches and then knit And what it does is it creates a live stitch that we'll be able to pick up later. I think I just did that from, I did. I'm already messing this up. Okay, let's 
I'm going to do this with a crochet hook. See, the instruction says using one knitting needle and sock yarn, pick up and knit 30 into the back loops. But I find that's difficult for me to do with a knitting needle. I find that when I'm picking up stitches, I find it much easier to do with a crochet hook. But the problem with doing it with a crochet hook is it is... lays backwards when I do it. So maybe I'll just do it. Yeah, there we go. That's working. Oop. I said it's working and then I keep dropping my stitch. Am I in the frame there? No, I'm not. Okay. Shift that way. And I'm making sure I'm in the back loops. There we go. This is not preferred, but it is what it is. All right. Yeah, I, I was going over the pattern as well that I had previously chosen. And looking at the cast on number of stitches, and I was trying to determine what, how many stitches I should cast on for the size of my foot. Now, as a Canadian, we work generally in metric. Uh, so I was looking at the centimeter measurements that they were given in the pattern. And my foot is not a small foot. I have a, I wear a size nine and a half wide. So in shoe size or 40 in shoe size. And it's uh, a European 40. And it's not it's not an uncommon foot size, but it is a large foot size when it comes to knitting socks. And so I want to make sure that I'm correct. So my large foot size, my nine and a half wide, I took the measurement that the pattern had given and it was asking for a, uh, the largest size available was 22 and a half centimeters around the middle of the foot my foot measures I think 22 centimeters around the middle so that was not wholly unexpected but then I happened to glance at the inches measurement and it was saying that 22 and a half centimeters was 10 inches and those who are familiar with both metric and imperial know that's not the case um, it's actually about 25 centimeters. So that is a huge difference when you're looking at the sock pattern and it's saying 22 and a half inches or 22 and a half centimeters or 10 inches. It's a full inch difference. 22 and a half is closer to nine inches than it is to 10. So a full inch difference is a big deal. If that made any sense, I, I realize that now that probably did not make much sense. I'm just thinking about how that came out. It was written, I determined my best guess that this was an American pattern and written in Imperial and that they had then tried to convert it and include centimeters, but they were off by a full inch in centimeters. So if that's a problem right at the very start, I, I wasn't about to trust the pattern for a stream and recommend it to you folks. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble doing this. I do know why I'm having, because I'm doing this in a way that's not the norm for me. But it's slow going, and I dislike slow going. I'm an impatient knitter. We're getting there. It's halfway through, but it's looking pretty. It's nice. I really like, let me try the lighting again here and see if I can get this a little bit more. No, it just washes it out. Oh. And I have a window right next to me on this side and the sun has gone behind the clouds. So that's, I think, part of the problem as well. I can't seem to get this. 
don't know what's better here. I think it's the light off will be better for now. It's something to work on. It's something for a future, a future problem. I'll do what I can today and make the best of it. Hopefully in the evening it'll be a little bit better when I do my evening streams. So, there we go. This is requiring a lot of paying attention <laughs> to the particular stitch. I'm just not preferring this method. But I know that it's going to come out correctly this way. The next sock I may use a crochet hook instead. And what's really cool about using a crochet chain for provisional cast on is when it comes time to pick up the stitches again on the opposite side, I just unzip, I just undo the first stitch and pull it out and it's beautiful. It works out very well. So skipping the first stitch, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, so I need 9 more. So later this week, I originally, um, my schedule that I have set up for myself is that is a, that I stream on Sundays and Wednesdays, Sunday afternoons and Wednesday evenings. Uh, but this week I'm not available on Wednesday, so I will be streaming on Tuesday afternoon instead. And I won't be doing a crafting stream, I'll actually be doing a gaming stream. I'll be uh, doing a first playthrough of the Banner Saga which is an older game, uh, but it's interesting. And I have played about an hour of it just to kind of get a feel for it and see what kind of game it is, if it's something that I would play more often. Uh, and it, it is, it's something, it's not my norm, but it uh, it's definitely a pretty cool game. So I thought maybe we could we could do that and then I may start doing that on a more regular basis interspersed with my crafting streams. We'll see how it goes. But for this week only I'm doing Tuesday afternoon for now. Now that I have our craft room, that the room that I'm streaming from here is our craft room and I'm slowly getting it set up. I have my desk set up properly now, so it's looking pretty decent. Um, it's still a little sparse behind me here. I currently have a sewing machine table set up, uh, but it takes up a ton of space, so I may pack that down and just have the desk space until I actually need to use a sewing machine. But there will be bookshelves coming in and other shelving coming in and I'll be able to get actually all of my supplies in here all in one room. It'll be delightful. All right, I've lost count, folks. Let me count again. It seems to me like this music is really loud today. I don't know if that's actually the case. It just feels really loud today. All right, skipping the first one. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, uh, I've lost it. Fingers. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31. I'm just gonna double check that. Count twice, cut once, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-one. Okay, so I can pull out that last stitch. All right. Good. So we have our cast on. How pretty is that? All righty. So one minute for a hydration break. Oh. 
All right, so the first row. Picking up the loops and then working back and forth in rows at this point to purl one row. Okay, so I will purl one row. Alrighty, now we can actually just go. Here's where my comfort comes in. And I think my stitches, it feels like my stitches are laying backwards again. So it doesn't matter if I pick up using a crochet hook or a knitting needle, I'm gonna have backwards lane stitches. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, because it's provisional cast on, so when I pull from the other side though, it'll lay properly. Right? Maybe? Hopefully, we'll see. Speaking of the hydration there, it made me think of on Wednesday, I of course got my second COVID shot, so I'm now fully vaccinated, which is super exciting. Um, the advice that I got for that shot, and I got the Moderna shot, um, was that I drink, I overhydrate, that I drink at least three liters of water for the next few days. Um, and then I was able to, had no problems taking Tylenol or anything along those lines. So I drank a ton of water Wednesday, Thursday, started to slow down on Friday because I can only run to the bathroom so often. Um, but it did, uh, it really was good. I was still thirsty <laughs> despite the amount of water that I was drinking. I, I know I did at least three liters each day for sure. Um, but it, uh, it definitely was a requirement and I felt fine. I had no ill effects. I actually had, um, the only ill effect I had was a sore arm, which is the same problem I had from the first shot. And I took a Motrin for that and ibuprofen for that and it was fine. I, um, I actually <laughs> was laying in bed and unable to sleep because I, I'm one of those sleepers that I have a very, I'll just pull that stitch right out. So now I actually have 30 stitches on the needle. Okay. I've just pulled out the first stitch that I said I wasn't going to count because that's usually a problem. So yes, I had gone to bed and the needle, uh, the shot was in my left arm, which is the side that I sleep on. I'm one of those sleepers that I have, I'm very particular <laughs> method of going to sleep and one of the one of the ways of doing that is sleeping on the same side and it's always on my left side and with a sore arm I couldn't sleep on that side it was my shoulder was in the way and it was it was a problem so finally around three o'clock in the morning I said enough is enough and I went and took an ibuprofen and waited for that to kick in and as soon as that kicked in I was able to sleep. I probably had the best four hours of sleep that I have had in months. Months. It was so nice. Such a good sleep. I'll be chasing that for some time. If I could have a sleep like that even just four hours a night that would be oh, so good. I'm at a certain age where certain things are happening you know that M word and sleep is something that is suffering. All right, so I've done the cast on, I've purled the one row. So the instructions say short row toe knit 29 stitches. Okay, so just knit to the last stitch. So needless to say, that was the only side effect that I had. So if you're going in for your second shot and you're concerned about these side effects, the advice that I got there seemed to have worked. Now, I did I did get a Moderna, so it might be different if you're getting the Pfizer or the AstraZeneca. So just bear that in mind. Your mileage may vary, but having water by your side is never a bad idea. So that did work out for me. One less thing to worry about this summer, I say. Oh, 
already. Almost at the last stitch, and at the last stitch, the instructions are saying move the working yarn as if to purl. Slip the last unworked stitch from the left needle onto the right needle. This is what is this is just a wrap and turn. So if you're familiar with wrap and turn, you knit to the last one and do a wrap and turn. So I'm slipping the stitch and then moving the yarn back and turning my work. So then I'm going to slip it with my yarn in front onto the other needle and pulling the yarn back. Oh, wait now, I got scroll through it says purl the next stitch so the yarn will be in the front there we go and purl across to the last stitch purl the next stitch all right so what's happened is there is a wrap around of yarn and i'm just going to purl to the last stitch move the working yarn as if to knit okay so just same thing on the other side do another wrap and turn on the opposite side So if you're familiar with wraps and turns and short rows, short row knitting, this is this is the standard, the standard method. So what's going to happen on this toe is each subsequent row we're going to be doing a wrap and turn one stitch sooner than the previous row until we get to uh, and not knit across the entire row. And that's going to shorten our rows and make a nice little point for ourselves. I don't know if that's how this pattern is doing a heel, but this is how a lot of heels are worked. So work into the last stitch. Move the yarn behind as if to knit. There we go. And bring the yarn back. There we go. That row was done. On to row three. Slip the first stitch, knit across to the last stitch before the unworked stitch, wrap and turn. And it's going to be a knit because we're on the knit side. My allergies are bad again today. I don't know why. It shouldn't be. I should be past all this. But we've had such crazy weather. Our heat wave finally broke. It's been beautiful over the last few days and today it's starting to get hot again. And we still have not had any rain. So our nice green lush lawn is now a nice brown lawn. It is what it is. Squirrels and chipmunks are digging them up, digging up my lawn, so whether it's brown or green, it's still destroyed. I have planted a number of pinwheels in my flowers, however, and that does seem to keep them away, which is lovely. I'm not a fan of having bobbin wrapped yarn, but I did this to myself, so I just had to be patient until I work through all this. I'll probably be at the heel of this sock before I'm done this bobbin. Okay. To one stitch before. I'm going to wrap and turn, slipping that stitch. And turn. And back around, purling across. So I just realized that I did something a little bit different than the pattern says. I wrap and turn at the end of, I slipped it back on the needle, which is just how I do my wrap and turns in preparation for the next row. So if you're new to this, just follow and trust the pattern and do it the way that it's saying. It's unfortunate that Unfortunately, I have several bad habits <laughs> uh, when it comes to this type of thing, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't translate very well. 
Okay. So it's the second last one. I'll be doing another wrap and turn. It's just getting all twisty. Okay, yarn to the back, wrap, and yarn. So the pattern says to turn at this point, which it's just a prep for the next slip. Okay, so I just continue on this way, repeating these two rows until there are 14 stitches unwrapped in the middle and eight wrapped on each side. No, on the right side. Uh, eight wrapped on the right. And, okay, no, it'll be on both sides because I'll have just finished a wrong side row. Okay, good. That music sounds really loud to me today. Let me know if that's a problem. You know what, I am going to turn it down a little bit more. Hopefully that's okay. And I just realized I'm turning it down on the stream controls, but not on my computer controls. So one moment. Ooh. Hopefully you can still hear that. I don't know, it's now showing that it's not even on. Who knows? It's barely showing up. Let me know if it's a problem. I still need to figure out something about these captions because this is just a wall of text. It's supposed to create breaks naturally when I pause. There's no breaks. I don't know. I don't know. And I've just closed my pattern, so one sec here and get that back. There. And I fixed my microphone issues. I was, uh, my settings did have the microphone going through my webcam and not through my actual mic. So hopefully the sound, my voice is a little bit clearer for you today. We'll see. All right, so we're at three wrapped stitches. Let's keep going here. So I don't know if you can see that yarn. Anyway, that's a nice little pattern. And there's a bit of a lace pattern going up the foot on this sock, so I figured this was a good yarn for it. I'd like to, like to get more self-striping yarns, because you can do so many cool things with some self-striping yarns. But I got this one from Oh, I wonder actually if the label is in my bag here for this yarn. This is this came from a, um, a monthly box. I do have the label. Look at this. It is from Knit Crate. So I subscribed to Knit Crate for a little while. And basically it was a loot box that they sent with yarn, with goodies. It had... Uh, one month it would have f a cute little stitch markers or a little container for your um, for your stitch markers or whatever. It had little little things and a, uh, a skein of sock yarn. And so this is one of them. <laughs> it is Knitology Sparkling Sock in the colorway of Starlight. It's 70% Superwash Merino. Superwash is good, if that means washing machine safe. 20% uh, nylon, 10% Stellina, which I don't even know what it is. 
It has 30, 399 yards or 365 meters in yardage and 100 grams, of course. So it does say hand wash only. I don't know. That's a super wash merino. Super wash. I will not be hand washing these socks. Anyway, so I did subscribe to Knit Crate for a while and I found that a lot of the yarns I was getting, it was nice yarn, certainly pleasant to knit with. Um, each box also came with several patterns that uh, either inspired the yarn or vice versa. And I was not unhappy with the price. It was definitely worth it, but I found that the yarns were very plain. Um, a lot of them. I got a lot of variations on white and I'm not a I'm not a plain colored person. I like a lot of color and pop in my yarn. Um, that's not to say there's not a place for these types of yarns and every once in a while I certainly don't have a problem with it but it seemed to me like almost every month I was either getting a white uh, yarn or a green, which the greens definitely uh, I will I'm a fan of and no problems there but The whites it was constantly white like I my kingdom for a purple or a pink or a blue <laughs> something Something with some color something that I can make a, a, a fun shawl out of or whatever so so I need to find exciting patterns for these slightly boring yarns. And that's that. Because I tend to find patterns that require a lot of color variation and, and that sort of thing. So, so as you can see with here, the short rows are starting to shape. Um, I really, I'm really frustrated with this lighting. This is so horribly washed out. But you can see near the edge of this particular um, edge, is, there's only a couple of stitches and the more closer we get to the middle, there's more stitches. It's starting to be a little, it's going to be a little bit more triangular in shape. So I'm going to the fourth last stitch now. There we are, wrap and turn. And when you're doing these wraps, you don't want to be too tight on them. You want to make sure that it's slightly loose, but you don't want it to be like really bulky loose either. You're going to be picking up on our way back. We're going to be picking up those wraps and it's going to actually hide those stitches and make it look like it's all beautiful and seamless. But if you go too tight, it's going to bunch up and not be not work for you. It's going to be difficult to pick up those stitches, so you don't want to be too tight on that. Just let the, the yarn lay wherever it lays. All right. I may, I've been thinking about the Sunday afternoon is great because for me, because we don't tend to do a whole lot. Sunday is our relaxed day. We don't tend to do a whole lot around here on Sundays. It's just take it easy and chill and max relax. And I normally am knitting on a Sunday afternoon anyway, so I may as well do it in front of the camera and share it with everyone else. But I know that many people have Sunday as their day to do family activities and go out and enjoy things, you know out to there in the outside place outside um so it's not uh it's just not our thing but i realize that some people that's that's what they do on sundays i know that growing up that's definitely what we did we that's when we went to visit our grandparents and went and did things and the Sunday afternoons. So I may switch this to Sunday evenings and start making it a Sunday evening chill stream just so we can have a few more people join in. Have some nice wine and some knitting. That might not be a good idea, wine and knitting. 
We could have some wine and knitting and pulling back of our knitting because we've had too much wine. That's not a thing, is it? It's absolutely a thing. So I'm going to five from the edge now. Oh, this pass row just went really quickly. Okay. This is really curling up a lot. It's getting in the way. Stay down. Stay. I'm going to have to add weights to my fabric here. Okay, there we are. Oops, that stays in front because I'm purling this row. Training myself to stay in camera. Although I think this setup is working. It's certainly better on having my craft cam on the right side based on how I hold my yarn and whatnot. It's better on this side than it is on the left side. So that's good. And it's not in the middle of my floor too, so I have I have to go up and use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not moving all of my equipment around to get out of my chair. Which is convenient, I know. Okay, we're getting there. I mean, it's not an ugly yarn, it's just boring. Boring. And these rows are going to get faster as I knit fewer stitches as well, that just makes sense. in this curl go away curl okay what did I say we need did five last time we need to go to that stitch there okay we're good you'll know if you've knit into the wrong stitch because you'll have that that yarn in your way if you've gone too far you can just tink it back if you've done it wrong it's not a big deal It's just yarn. If we make a mistake, we just pull it back. It's just yarn. So I guess I need to find another loot box or something that does a little bit more exciting yarns. But the Knit Crate was, it was fairly inexpensive compared to some other. I'd love to support an indie dyer, but my pocketbook just does not, uh, doesn't always work that way. Adulting is hard when you have to work between figuring out which bills you pay <laughs> sometimes and what you want to do. Right? Did I wrap that one? I did do that correctly. Okay. I think we're on stitch seven from the edge, which means we'll be able to move on to the next step here shortly. Okay, unwrap a few, and I'm finding cat hairs stuck in here, which is no surprise. Luna has to make her presence known in all things. Her Royal Highness Miss Luna. Okay.
So I had planned this year to for this to be my my goal for this year. Let me start again. My goal for this year was to knit a pair of socks each month until the end of the year. So I would end up with 12 new pairs of socks, right? Well, the I think I was telling you folks about this before. Uh, it, it did not work out that way. It took me until April, May to finish a single pair. So I'm behind schedule. I need to pick up the pace. If I want 12 pairs of socks done this year, I need to go a little bit faster. Dedicate more time to socks. Alrighty, I think. See, I find it easier to slip the stitch back onto the previous needle when I'm working the row, that particular row, because otherwise I get confused after I turn it. So we have seven stitches here on the right. So this one will be our last pattern repeat of those two rows. We will have, we should have, eight stitches wrapped on the on each side when we're done. And only 14 stitches unwrapped in the center. So on the left side we have two, four, six, eight stitches. Oh. I love it when a plan comes together. So I'm not going to slip this last stitch over because that's not part of the instruction. So one moment here. Let's get to the end of that row. Okay, hold on here. We got two, four, six, seven. Yep. Bring my yarn in front. Okay. Turning. So we have two, four, six, seven, eight. Now, ready to work a right side row, and it says here, just as a cheering you on moment, your toe is half done. Yay! All right, now we'll work across the second half of the toe. We're going to knit across the 14 live stitches and across the first unworked. So we're going to pick up the wrapped stitch. Perfect. Okay. We're just going to work backwards now. So we slip this one back and we knit across. So I'm going to count on the way to one, it should be 14, two, three, Split the yarn, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's the first wrapped stitch. So we're going to pick up the wrapping bring it over top behind the other stitch behind the other stitch and then knit through the back and it'll be a hidden wrap a hidden pickup so it doesn't look like we had any extra stitches there and it picked it all up together all right now that didn't say that in the um, instructions that's how I pick up a stitch so I've picked up the wrapped portion, tossed it behind the live stitch, and then knit through the back loops in order to hide the wrapped stitch. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. To work this stitch, pick up and wrap the next stitch. So now it has the has two wraps in turn. Oh, that's different. Okay. Let's do that. Slip the first double wrap stitch back, okay. Uh, 
row two, slip the first double wrapped stitch and purl across to the first unworked. Okay. This is different. I've never done double wrapped, so we'll see what this what that's supposed to do for us. Maybe it gets rid of the break between stitches. Sometimes that happens. Is there's a break between stitches with wraps and turns. Is that a wrapped stitch? That is not a wrapped stitch. Okay, there's the wrap stitch. So same thing, we're gonna pick up that one. We're gonna purl through the back loop this time, same way. Um, let me make sure I'm actually doing this correctly. I'm gonna pick up the wrap and purl together with the stitch, wrap the next stitch and turn, okay. It's so weird, a double wrapped stitch. And wrapping the next stitch. In subsequent rows, you will pick up both wraps and knit or purl them together with the stitch. So continue until all of them are worked. Okay. We will do that. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's a cleaner edge that way. We'll see. It might be a little bit bulky. That's my fear, is that it's going to have a bulky edge. Ugh, bobbins. Where am I at here? Just tangled myself up. There we go. Keep it in place. Oh. Okay. Knitting. Now we have two wraps, so we gotta pick up these wraps. Both of them. All right, and I'm going to knit through the back loops. So as to hide that. I'm not seeing a difference here as to why it, we need to wrap and turn again. I don't know. All I'm getting is a lot of extra yarn here. Hmm. 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 Not liking that. Not a fan of the extra wraps. I don't know why that would be the case. But I'm going to trust the pattern. See how it goes. It's also weird that it's 14 stitches across the toe. That's a lot of stitches. But hopefully this isn't a gigantor sock at the end of it all. I'm picking up these two wraps. And purling through the back loops. Oof. Well, I mean, from the front it looks okay, I guess. I don't know. It's not a, it's not ideal. It's a little bulky, I'm not a huge fan. But it's on my toes. So the biggest issue that will happen with that will just be that it's a little uncomfortable on my toes. I can live with that. Fortunately, I don't have any sensory concerns with my feet many sensory concerns with my feet. Okay, I just split the yarn there. Picking up these. Yeah, 
really not a fan of both. It's okay. It's okay. I can do this. It's looking better on the knit side, but it's still not ideal. But it's going to be a nice little toe, I guess, when it's all done. I'll just trust it. Just trust it. It'll be fine. Okay, let me grab some water here. Ooh! Sorry about that. If that was noisy. Giant water bottle fell over. But this is a cool way of doing a toe. You'll see the magic here in a few minutes. I've also tried doing two at a time socks, but that requires being able to do circular needles. And I'm not a fan, not a fan. I get a lot of laddering when I try to do that. It doesn't seem to work out very well for me. Okay. Curling, wrapping and turning, slipping, knitting. Go, go, gadget, knit. Does anybody remember that show? It was a long time ago. If you remember that show, then we're likely in the same age group and we're old. We are redacted age, as I heard another streamer say, and I'm totally stealing. I'm not ashamed to say. Once you've hit redacted age, I think that's just something that we should all be adopting. Okay. Speaking of redacted age, we um, here, I'm in streaming from Ontario, um, and we've just entered into our first post-COVID? I don't know. We're, we're in phase one of our reintegration into society, I guess, <laughs> after being under lockdown for a long time what feels like a long time um, but it was necessary numbers were getting ridiculously high it was out of control uh, so we've just entered our first stage of opening things back up but hairstylists are not in that stage yet so the redacted age portion comes into the haircut that i require to hide all the grays that are popping up of course, it may make it worse. I don't know. It may, I just may be cutting off all of my darker colors. I don't know. We'll find out as soon as I see my hairstylist. If it gets to be too ridiculous, well, I don't know. I committed in January to stop dyeing my hair and just let the grays happen. And I'm still, I mean, I'm better with it now than I was in after my cut at that time and I had longer hair I had fairly long hair at that time and when I cut it I cut all of it off thinking that it would be easier to go to do the switch and it was a shock to see just how gray I was I knew I was gray <laughs> But I, it was a shock to see just how much. And I'm honestly, I, I comment that I'm old. I'm not that old. I really am not. Middle aged. Not even what is considered middle aged, but if this point is the middle of my age, I will have a long and happy life. Alrighty, let's see. 
We've been having some internet concerns as well. We've been having our internet drop here and there. I'm just noticing that there's a bit of lag happening on the screen. So if I suddenly disconnect, I apologize. I'll be back. Others in our neighborhood have been having the similar problems, so I know that it's our providers and not, not anything we're doing. Oh, picking up two stitches. I'm, ugh, have I mentioned I'm not a fan? I'm just not. There. Through the back loop. Wrapping again. We're almost done the row though. There's only a couple extra stitches to go here. We're almost done this section of the toe. And you can start to see, look, there's a there's a bit of toe happening. There's a a little boob of toe. And then we're just gonna pick up the stitches once this is done. This will be like, for example, the top of the foot. And then we'll pick up all the stitches on the other side, and that will be the bottom of the foot, or vice versa, however the pattern has it laid out. Which is pretty magical. So I think I'll continue this sock on Sunday next week, and then we'll pick up the blanket the following Wednesday. I have several projects I want to work on on stream, but I don't want to have too many projects to work on because then it's just a giant bag of projects and nothing gets done. You know what I mean? All right. I think I'm doing this purling on the wrong the wrong way because I put the stitches behind and then purled through the back stitch and it's putting the last stitch as the front one and I think that's I know that doesn't make any sense what I just said and it doesn't it makes it difficult to visualize but it doesn't make it pretty. It's creating a bit of a seam. Yeah, I'm definitely doing it wrong, but I'm almost done. So for consistency, I will continue on because I'm not pulling that back. It's a design element now. Oof. On the bobbin. I gotta remember this is on the bobbin. I pull it too fast and then it just falls all over the place. <sighs> because my yarn was caked for the yarn bowl, I can't just wrap it back around to the yarn bowl because I did a center pull. So it had to go on a bobbin when I pulled back the previous sock. When I pulled out the previous sock because I just gave up entirely on that one. As well I should have because, like I said, it was a hat rather than a sock. I don't need a 22 inch ankle, it's not happening. Oof, I almost dropped my stitch. There we go. So what else has happened since we spoke last? It was Wednesday. I had my shot on Wednesday. Glasses. I saw my optometrist week before last. Something like that. Oh, I forgot to wrap this stitch. Um, I saw my optometrist and due to COVID, I wasn't able to pick out glasses the same day um, because I didn't realize that they were only doing so via appointment. So I made an appointment for this past Saturday and went and picked out some new frames and got measured for my progressive lenses. 
first time going to progressives, so that's something I should be able to see a lot better in a few weeks once my glasses come in. I always love choosing new frames, it's so much fun. And I love a fun frame. Um, my job, I wear a uniform at work, I'm in uh, the Canadian Forces, and so of course I wear a uniform. And they don't tend to prefer funky frames, so I have to be a little bit conservative with my frame choices, but I can wear more than one pair of glasses. I just dropped the stitch, pardon me, while I fix this. Okay. So yes, I picked out some new frames and it's it was very pretty. Very expensive. I was joking with my spouse um, that I tend to be able to my tastes I like doesn't I don't even have to see price tags. My tastes just run expensive. Without price tags, I will choose the most expensive one every time. It's just a thing that happens. So yes, I do have pretty frames, but they will be the only frames I'll be getting for some time. I have lots, lots of glasses, so I'll just be putting new lenses in other pairs for backups and for reading and whatnot. Okay, I'm knitting that. Because what I decided to do is I'll have progressives for everyday use, and then I also will have readers if I'm doing something like reading. <laughs> and I don't have to look up a lot. Um, or trying to do knitting and whatnot. So, and I'll just stick reading lenses in some of my existing pairs. Because that's a cheaper option. So that happened yesterday, and my son had an eye exam yesterday as well, and he chose his frames because I, at least I was smart enough to book his appointment for choosing frames uh, immediately after his eye exam. So he chose, you know, standard hipster, I won't say standard hipster frames because to me those are like Ray-Ban looking frames, but he chose a style of frame that all the kids are wearing these, da these days. I'm not a fan. They remind me of the uh, really bad 80s looks of every dad in the 80s had these frames, and I'm not a fan. 70s, 80s. You know which frames I'm talking about. Okay. Second last one. I'm wrapping the last stitch. Do I wrap the last stitch? Did I wrap it the first time? I did. Okay. I need some more water. Look at that cute little toe. It's very bloopy. All right, this sock might be too big. <laughs> it's looking a little big right now. That's okay. If it's too big, we will deal. I'll give it away to somebody else or something. We'll figure it out. But the notion is that at the end of all of this, We'll just be able to start knitting along the foot. Because it will be at its widest point prior to the heel. But starting to open up now, one of the things that I'm most excited about now that we are in our phase one stage, 
non-essential shops are open again so I can do things like go to the dollar store for that one cheapy little item that I require. You know what I mean? It's that you need, you've need you run out of pens or you've run out of paper clips or, and it's a non-essential item, but it just makes nice life easy and it makes life you know, just a your everyday type of thing. And I tend to go to the dollar store and run for these things, and I was not able to do so before. So now we can do that again. This is a wrapped stitch, okay. This is our last repeat. Going across. And then we'll have 30 live stitches that are not wrapped. And we should have our stitches, our uh, toes done after this. And we'll be able to pull out our other two needles and knit away. This is a fun way of doing a toe. I really like this way of doing toes and no grafting, which is the goal. All right, last stitch, we're picking these up. And there won't be any wrap and turn at the end because there's no more stitches to go, right? I just dropped the... <gasps> oh my goodness, I just dropped both... St okay, okay, okay. Nobody panic. No one panic. No one panic. Yeah, the tongue's coming out. Fix that. <sighs> Got it. Okay. Done. Alright, now... We will purl across. So after we're done this row, we're going to start splitting and adding our other needles. So what I'm going to do, there's 30 stitches here. So I'm going to put 15 on one needle and then pick up another needle and go across. And then we will pick up the other side on the provisional cast on side. So let's do that. We'll do 15 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. One needle done. Excuse me. Okay. This way I'm not slipping them the wrong way. They're just knit on properly. Grabbing other needles, and we're going to knit across again, picking up the last wrapped stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, picking up these wraps, and purling through the back, 15, okay, we have two of our needles set up. And now we need to pick up the other stitches. So 
I'm going to unzip. I'm not a fan of picking up stitches, uh, unzipping and then picking up stitches, only because I'm afraid of dropping stitches. So bear with me here. I'm going to try this here. Let's see where we at. I keep hitting my mic. I'm just going to shift this. There we go. It's more in my face now, but at least it's out of the way. Okay. Excuse me while I work through this here. It's going to be quiet for a few moments. Ten. So I'll see if I can show you this on the, if it'll show up here. Yeah, that's not too bad. So we have the, it's an auto, it keeps focusing, so I apologize. But we have the crochet chain up top, and what I've done is I've just picked up across the first row and then I will unzip the crochet chain and that should keep those stitches live on these needles. So I'll go 15 and then grab the other one. So that was 10. Just count that. 12, 14, 15. Okay. And let's see if I can do the same here. One thing I'm afraid of is picking up the wrong leg, and I suspect I might be right now, which means the next bit that I knit here, I'm going to have to knit and adjust each stitch so that it's facing the right way, the leg is in the front, or knit through the back loop so that it lays properly. Should have 15 on this needle, let me count. 10, 12, 14. How come I have 14? Oh, okay. I'm just looking at the instructions. One moment. It says, on your first round, you may want to pick up an extra stitch or two between the live stitches to close up any holes. Okay. Except that I've clearly missed something somewhere. <coughs> Let me take a look and see if I can pick this up properly again. That's right. I mean, it's looking all that I haven't missed anything, so if I just 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, excuse me one moment. Because I don't want to be muted. Switch that song. I need to find a different playlist. Okay. noticing all of the people that I want to watch stream are live right now. <laughs> it's fine. We're all just streaming together. I'll just watch the videos later. 
I think I'm just going to pick up an extra stitch here. It's either that or I've picked up from the wrong leg and therefore I have the wrong count. Two, three, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. <coughs> Am I going to have the right number of stitches if I pick up on the opposite side? Just make another stitch. You can do that, Shakti. You can do this. There was one that was dropped there. I'll pick up that other stitch that looks like it was a fat wrap. Okay. Okay. So now I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. It's just going to be on my feet. It's going to be hidden in my shoe. It'll be fine. We'll make this work. So I'm going to undo my crocheting here. I'm just going to pull that out. We go. Oop, wrong, wrong end. <laughs> Let's go to the other end. All I was doing was closing it off on the on that end. Okay. So oh, there's a little knot. Of course, there's a little knot. Why would there not be a little knot? Not be a knot. Here we go. That was that extra stitch in there that we add in. There. Oof. Okay, this is going to be problematic. I've got another knot in here. even have that stitch picked up. Hmm. Grabbing an extra needle. Seeing what I can see. <sighs> Shifting to get to work here. <coughs> turn on the light and I apologize if it's going to wash things out but I need to be able to see. Let's put that back on that needle. No, which one is this? Yeah, that's that one. The extra picked up stitch. Oh, okay. It's because there's a knot at the end of my yarn. I'm just grabbing my scissors. I'm just going to snip that right there. Seriously, what the actual heck? It's not what I want to say, but... Well, I don't advertise this as a family-friendly stream. There's that other stitch. So. This is not unzipping nicely. Okay, there was the mistitch that I dropped previously. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I am coming at this from the wrong end. Unzip it the other way. Why didn't it unzip this way? Did I have a knot there too? Shh. 
should not be this hard. No, this is definitely the beginning. Because I should just be able to pull so I don't stick backwards. I think it's because I already have stitches in here. Arrgh. Frustration. This should just pull nicely out. It probably does when I don't have the stitches on my needle. Because now they're all knit around. That's not a stitch I've picked up. Mm -hmm. Is, uh... This is something. All right, I'm going to put that other stitch that I picked up on the needle and just knit down to the appropriate number of stitches. <coughs> For this portion, I'll shut it off again in a moment. Yeah, I don't have all the stitches. Okay. This is a bit of a boring portion, but it needs to be done. Maybe I should just live dangerously, take it off this needle, and then just pick it up. to do that. It doesn't help that it's getting darker outside. It almost looks like it's going to rain, but I doubt it will given past experience. It's not going to, it's just going to threaten us. Which means I'm going to have to go out and water my plants again. It's fine. To go to that outside place. I'm sure you've all seen that meme with the golem looking person staring at the outside. Afraid to go out there, that's 100% me. Not that I don't enjoy being outside, it's, it's the going of the outside. Once I'm there, I'm fine and actually quite enjoy it. I love camping, I love hiking, I love doing all that stuff, but inside there's internet and gaming and my knitting. So. Oh, this is, this is very yucky looking right now. I'm going to pull it off of here as well. I don't know why. Did I not pick it up through the back loops? Maybe I didn't actually do that. A 
I'm not sure why I can't unzip this. Like it literally should just be, just pull out the start and pull it and go. There we go. Now it's working. Maybe it's just the scrap yarn that I used just a little bit. Not as tightly woven. Just a bad yarn for a scrap yarn, I guess. Could be the yarn I'm using is not a great yarn for this either. The frustration levels right now. Well, what I will do, because I feel my blood pressure rising, um, when I'm done this, I will take a break. We're well past halfway on our screen today anyway. There we go. Goodbye and good riddance. Now we pick up 30 stitches across. And they're going to be backwards laying on the hook. Two, three on the needles. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Seven, eight, nine, ten, wow, well, whatever happened there? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to show you this little blurb. I don't know if you can see that right there. I don't know what happened there. That's just something magical. We have a clear problem right there. So as I knit across, I'm going to try and at least cover that up. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 15. I've got 15 on both needles, so I have 60 stitches total now. All right, so let me just take a look here. Unzip. On your first round, you may want to. Okay. Let's see. Now start the lace pattern. So what I'm going to do, the bottom of the stock will be knit in plain. So, ooh, ooh. Well, I guess I definitely will be uh, taking a break here because <laughs> that's my working needle on the other side of the room. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is it's a four round lace pattern. I'm going to work one round in knit to make sure that I actually have this little blurb problem corrected. Because what's happened here is it looks like there's a couple of stitches that have wrapped around itself. And I may have actually picked up the stitch underneath. So I'm going to take a break here right now to pick up my knitting needle and to use the washroom, etc. So we'll go take five minutes and we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned, thank you. Ooh, if I can figure this out. Eek! Be right back.
we're back. And back. we're back. Hope you Welcome had a back. moment to uh, hope you had a moment to uh, to do your business there. So to do your business there. there. So I give me one second my, here. I need to set up my screens again. Hold on. Screens again. Hold All on. All right. I think. All right. We're good to go. I think we're good to go. And I will just and link for you again. Just the link for you again with. the pattern that we're working with. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think okay. we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Oh. Something's oh. going on here. Something's going on here. Now I'm having technical difficulties. Now Bear I'm having me. technical difficulties. Bear with me. Okay. Okay. And I've lost my pattern. And I've lost my pattern. Okay. Lace oh okay. pattern. Lace. So what pattern. I said I was going to do. So what I said is, I was uh, going to do. Do a is, row uh, of knitting. Do a row and then we'll start of knitting. The lace pattern. And then we'll start the lace pattern. So. So. Making sure I have the proper yarn. I'm Making going sure to I have knit the proper in yarn. This I'm going to knit in bit, this little bit. And, uh, so it's and, hidden. Uh, so it's hidden. Because what's going to happen with the lace? Because what's going to happen with the lace? Pattern, the, lace the, the first lace pattern, thirty stitches are going the first to be the thirty stitches are going to be the next bottom of the foot, and the next thirty stitches. So when it comes to the lace pattern, comes to the lace pattern. Want to make sure. Want to make sure that it looks nice on the top of the foot. That it actually looks nice on the top of the foot. So that's why I'm going to be knitting a first row, just to make sure all the stitches are laying the right way. The stitches are laying the right way, and that little bubble problem. That little bubble problem. I'm gonna snip that off right now so snip that that off right now so that I don't have to worry about it later. I don't have Oop. to worry about it later. Oop. Another little end that floated down. Another little end that Making sure I'm actually down. knitting that. Making sure I'm actually knitting that, that and not the working just yarn. Cutting that, that would be bad. Working yarn. That would be bad. There we go. There we go. And no more in, we ends to and weave no in. more in, we ends to weave in. That was difficult to get out. Oh that my. was difficult to get out. Oh my. It's really getting dark outside. It's really getting um, dark outside. So the color is actually um, not bad. So the color is <laughs> the actually craft not camp. bad. But it's <laughs> I, the craft I know camp. I said but it's, that it likely I know I said but that it's starting to get very rain, dark. But it's so starting maybe to it get will. very dark. So maybe, maybe I don't will. have to go outside. Maybe I don't have plants. to go outside and water my plants. Not that I really mind doing that. Not that I really mind doing that. But one last chore, you know. One last chore, you know. in the way again. My mic is in the way again. So, oh, so I will, oh. I will get good. This, I will. I will get good at this. I promise. I promise. That is my promise to you. That is my promise to you. This. I will get good at this. It may not be today. It, won't be it today. may not be today. It probably it won't, be, won't today. be tomorrow. It probably won't be tomorrow. One day I will get good at this. One day I will get good at this. So my stitches are actually all so my stitches backwards. are actually all on laying here. backwards. So I'm gonna flip each stitch. Before so I'm knit. gonna flip each stitch before I knit it. And what the heck is going on with this and one? What the heck is going on with this one? It's like I've just taken the. It's like I've just taken the. The end. The end. Oh. Oh. No, I've only taken half the stitch. No, I've only the taken half yarn. the stitch. Half the yarn. Oh my goodness, I need to try oh the light on again. Yes, I need to try the light on again. Let's see if this, uh, let's see if this, uh, oof, oof. Hopefully that's not, it is too bad for you guys, not, I apologize. It is too bad for you guys, I apologize. So that's obviously a priority So that's this. obviously a priority for this. this. Is to get the lighting fixed in here. It was fine the other night, but then it was fine the other night, but then I don't know. Now I today, know. maybe it's with now just today, the way that I have the layout of the room. Just the way that I have working. the layout of the room, it's not working. Okay. Just knit this stitch, and we'll move on to just the next one. Just knit this stitch, and we'll move on to the next one. 
that's problematic. Okay, flipping around. Okay, mm -hmm. flipping around. Mm -hmm. Flip the stitch around. Flip the stitch around. Knit it. Knit it. All right, that looks better. All right, that looks better. This was a good plan. Just knit this the was first a good row. Plan. Just so knit the first row it so that it flows naturally. It all flows naturally. It's getting there. It's getting there. Picking up these stitches, I split picking up these stitches, lot, I split so. the yarn a lot. So I need to remember which side the camera's on. So remember which side the camera can actually on, see. So that folks can actually see. I still that's the other thing I need to work still, on. Still that's the, the other thing I need to work on is looks the ridiculous chat window. here. Looks ridiculous here. It doesn't show the entirety it of the chat. It doesn't show the entirety Cuts of off the chat halfway through. Cuts off halfway through. Which if you're watching this live, which if you're watching this it's live, not really a problem because it's not you can really just a problem the chat window, you can but just see the chat window, but you can't adjust that watching you can't it. Can't adjust that watching afterwards. it afterwards. Afterwards. So when I upload this video, so to when I YouTube, upload this video, I will add the YouTube, pattern link I in there. I will add the pattern in link the in there in the description, so that those who are watching it on YouTube so that aren't those who are watching lost. it on YouTube aren't completely lost. Okay. Okay. Nope, those stitches are now backwards. Nope, those stitches are now backward. I just did that whole little bit. I just backward. did that whole little bit backward. Uh, oh, uh, pulling that back out because uh, that's that going to look ridiculous. That's going to look ridiculous on my foot. Even if it is hidden in a shoe. That Even is if it is hidden in a go. shoe. That is an error I can't let go. I'll have to change them back. I'll have to change or them I back. Laid them or I laid them Correctly, swap After them I around. Swap them around. It's because you're picking up the back. It's end because of you're picking up the back stitches, end, of right? Live stitches, right? And so they lay differently. And so on the they back lay end. differently on the back end. At least in my mind, they do. At least so in my mind, correct they do. So, so I try and correct it. where the error so is. If I just probably where the error pick it up is, if I just they're correct. Pick it up as if they're correct. First leg it needs to because be in the first front, leg. Which is how it needs I've to be in these. front, which is how I've got these. Not this totally. Not this totally. I might be making a mountain here. I might be making a mountain here. Out of this tiny little. Out of this tiny little. Because now it looks like I have pearled stitches. Because now it looks like I have pearled stitches underneath. So I don't know if you can see that. It looks so like I've got pearled stitches there. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like I've got pearled stitches there. Yeah. If I switch them back. Yeah. If I switch them back. That's what I'll have to do. That's what I'll have to do. Turn them back. Turn them back. And just knit them as they lay. And just knit them as they lay. There is not a single pattern. There is not a single pattern where I can work. Apparently, where I don't have I can a work. Where I don't have a problem. Even a seemingly easy even one. Even a seemingly easy one. And I know how to knit. I know how to do these I know these how to knit. I know how to do reason, these things. My brain but just, for some reason, my brain just says nope. Not today. Says, nope. Not today. Okay. Okay. Knit it as it lies. Knit it as it lies. No. I 
can do this. I can do this. So right now I'm having so two right stitches now, that are laying I'm on top two of each other. That are laying on top of each other. Pick up. I'm I'm trying to only stitch pick up the one stitch. Oh, this looks even more ridiculous. Oh, this looks even more ridiculous. All right. So what I'll do? Then All right. Is just so the other side what I'll do then the is just the other side will be the top. That works. That works. Some weird stuff happening. Yeah, I've got some right weird now. stuff I don't happening here right now. I don't even know. Don't even know. Don't even know. They're all twisted. They're just they're all, all twisted. They're just all. They're all twisted. They're all twisted. I'll knit through the back loops on the other ones. I'll knit through the back loops on the other ones and see how it goes. That shouldn't twist them. That shouldn't twist them. Until I get to that one funky stitch. Until I get to that one funky stitch. They're still twisted. They're still twisted. Make the other side the lace pattern. The so we'll start the, the lace pattern. pattern. So we'll start pattern the lace pattern. So we'll lace pattern for the, so the row one. Knit first row, knit two, two together. Pearl, pearl one, yarn over, knit two together. Pearl one. That's easy. That's easy. But this is where I've just hidden my yarn. But this is where I've just hidden my yarn. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just oh, okay. Okay. I'm just, just gonna knit it as written. I'm just gonna knit it as written. A bubble there, honest to goodness. A bubble there, honest to goodness. It'll be in my shoe. 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 At thirty. At thirty. 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 This will be fine. This will be fine. I should probably note. I should probably my second note sock, but I did a knitting row after, after my toe was done, because then I'll be run one row. Because then I'll be run one row off, and there's no particular row. There's no particular the row. Asking to stop the pattern is asking to stop at before the heel. Because all we're doing because is working on the sole when we get to the heel. That's all knit. It doesn't matter where we are in the lace pattern. Where we are in the lace pattern. I'm going to grab my notebook. I'm going to grab my notebook. I'm going to grab my notebook.
and make sure I mark and make sure I mark there we go there we go alrighty alrighty I should probably mark where my star is. Well, no, once I get going with the lace pattern, I'll be able to know where the start of my row is. Start of my row is, and then I'll take note of how many lace. And then I'll take note of how many lace I start the heels before I start the heel. And that way, both socks will be. And that way, both socks will be. And I need to do this until. I need to do this until two inches shorter than the desired. Two inches shorter than the desired foot length, which for me is just for me is just over nine. Going to want so I'm going to want roughly seven inches of roughly seven inches of foot including foot. the toe including the toe all right so I'm at the lace all right, portion. so I'm so at the lace two. portion so knit two Person who prefers if you three are a person who prefers socks, three needles on your socks, I would put the lace pattern. I may be doing that here, and I may be doing that here because we're in the middle of the lace pattern. We're in the middle of the lace pattern, which is middle of the needle, not cool. Which is not cool for me. It doesn't work for me. That <laughs> for me, it doesn't work um, for me that way. Knit two. Um, knit two. Pearl one. There's the top of my foot. And so there's it's the top of wonky, my foot. But that's and okay. It's looking all wonky, but that's okay. We'll just, uh, we'll just, just uh, we'll just do. Heading across the bottom of the Heading foot. Across the bottom so of that was our first row for our. So that was our first row repeat. for the our next pattern repeat. The even the rows will just be. The even rows will just be. Knit two, purl one. Knit two, purl one. Across the top foot. All the way across the top foot. Well, this isn't a difficult pattern. Well, this isn't a difficult pattern. And then the third row swaps and the, the yarn third over row so swaps the yarn over. So it's an bubble. alternating other one. So it's an alternating bubble. It's fairly simple. It's fairly simple. We'll see how it goes when we hit the heel. We'll see how it goes when we hit the heel. It looks like it's a short row heel as it well. It looks like so it's a short row heel helpful. as well, so that should be helpful. No rain yet. No rain yet. All right. We're All right. We're going to knit two for one. We're going to knit two for one. All the way across. I think that actually works out as they lay. I think lay. that actually works out as they lay. Yeah. Yeah. That makes it easy. That makes it easy. 
as we go. This will become more pronounced as we go. Be a dainty little sock. Be a dainty little sock. So what's happening this week? So what's Let's happening see. this week? Well, Let's see. This week will be a lot well, of errands to be run. Since, stores are, errands to be run. Since stores, stores are open again, the dollar store. Tell you what, heading up the dollar store. Tell you what. 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 Heading up the dollar store. Tell you
Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be able to show you mm -hmm. this one. I'm not they're gonna just be able to show shape. They're little. One. They're just shape. They're little star shapes. Star so shapes. Look like little stars. Mm -hmm. They look like little stars. I'm gonna lose Ooh. it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose All right. it. <laughs> All right. Can you see that? No, because I'm at. Can I you see that? My no. camera. Because I'm at. Come I back can't see my camera. They're little stars. Come back this way. They're little stars. Are they cute? Are they cute? Okay. Okay. The other thing that I use for stitch markers, the other for, that I use for stitch is, markers um, for socks is um, you find them with uh, chain mail supplies, find them with the little rings, chain mail supplies, the little, the little rings, rings that you use for chain mail, jump rings that you use for chain mail. They tend to work fairly nicely. They tend to work fairly nicely. All right, so we're gonna All cross right. the sole, so we're just in cross knitting. The sole, just in knitting. So yes, there's going to be a lot of errands. So yes, there's going to be a lot of errands being run this week. We're going for steak dinner. We're going for steak dinner. Those patios are open. Those patios are open. That'll be the one day this week we get. That'll be the one day this week we get rain. I guarantee. We'll be on the patio trying to eat. We'll be on the patio trying to eat. I've really missed restaurants. I think that's I've really the one thing that I have I think that's the, the one thing that I have missed is restaurants. And of course with restaurants. Buffets. And of course with that buffets. And all you can all you can eat. I'm a big fan of all you can eat. Particularly when it comes to things like Particularly sushi. Particularly when it comes to things like sushi. Because sushi a la carte is expensive. Because sushi a la carte is expensive. I want to be able to support these I want restaurants. I want to be able to support these restaurants. They're good. Because they're good. They make my life. They make my life easy. And they add to easy. value. And they add to value. And I like to support such endeavors. Such All right, endeavors. so knit two, purl one. All right, so knit two, purl one. I'll add my stitch markers in between. I'll add my stitch six markers rows, in six between. Stitches, so. Six rows. Six stitches, so. Knit two, knit two, purl one, purl one, knit two, knit two, purl one, stitch marker, purl one, stitch marker. Oops, getting myself caught Oops. here. Getting myself caught here. Knit two, knit two, pro one, pro one, knit. knit. So after we're, we've gone for a little so bit, I'll show you We've pattern. gone for a little Oops. bit, I'll show you the pattern. Oops. Okay, no, that's right. Okay, no, that's right. Because it's difficult to see at the very beginning. Because it's difficult we'll to see at the very few beginning. Few rows we'll in to go to really see the few pattern. rows in to really see the pattern. Getting myself all tangled. Getting myself all tangled. As soon as I can get these stitch markers out of the way. Get these stitch markers out of the way. That will help. All right, one, two. All right, one, two. There. there. One. Stitch marker there. And that should be the last marker. stitch marker that, that I should need be the last right stitch now. marker that I need to worry about right now. Because I've already placed one in the previous row. I've already row. placed one in the previous row. So this is row four so of this the pattern. So this is row four of so the pattern. I need to make sure that so I mark. To make sure that I mark after this row. After this row, I'm saying that out loud. So I'm that saying I will that out actually loud remember so to I do so. Actually remember to do so. right? It's the way it works, right? 
All right, so we've completed a full all lace right, so pattern we've now. Now we just repeat that. Pattern pattern now, now we just repeat that all the way down until we have the desired foot length. Which, as I said, is going to be roughly which, seven as I said, inches. Going to so be roughly we've seven got a ways to go. So we've got a ways to go. So let me see if I can show you so this. Let me see if I can show you this better. a little bit better. How's that looking? How's that look? It's not horrible. You can't really see the That's pattern. Yet. You can't really see the because pattern. Because as I said, it takes a few rows. Because as I said, it takes a few rows for it to go. But it will have us a foot sitting in there. It'll be sitting in there. It'll be It'll cute. Be. It'll be cute. Right. That's not right. horrible. Okay. That's not horrible. Where okay. are we at? We are at. Where are we at? We are at the bottom of the foot. So we're going to knit across. So we're going to knit across. Start our next start pattern our next repeat. pattern repeat. This is a much easier pattern. This is a much easier for myself pattern to remember, remember for myself pattern. than that crochet pattern. <laughs> It'll come. It'll come. It'll come. I found myself a few times. This, I found myself uh, over the last few days this, wanting uh, to pick up the that last blanket. Few days though. wanting to pick up that blanket though, which is good. At least I have a desire to complete that. I have a desire to complete that. Because I, uh, that's something that I struggle I, uh, with. Once in a while, something find that a pattern that I just don't want to work on at all. all. But I, I only have maybe one I only have crochet to go, and I'll have a hooded scarf to go, and I'll have a hooded scarf done. So I should be able to get that up on my shop. So I should be able to get that up on my shop this week. That would be nice. All right. Lace pattern. All right. Lace pattern. Go knit two. Go knit two. Curl one in the yarn over. Curl one in the yarn over. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Just now that I didn't finish. I realized so just now two. that I didn't finish that. So knit two, purl one, yarn purl over, one, knit two together, yarn over, knit and two together, one, and then purl one. Where we're doing a yeah, the ones where we're together doing the bend yarn knit over together we'll the bend yarn the larger, over larger we'll definitely have the larger lace holes. lace holes. I find that it uses just that little bit more yarn. It uses just that little bit more yarn. Because we're fully wrapping all the way around we're fully the, wrapping all the way around the the needle. Versus the just needle. laying it over the versus top. Versus just of the needle, laying it over the top of the needle the other way. This is a fairly nicely uh, established, nicely foot established for foot for us have to today. Have today. This pattern seems to work up. This pattern seems that we'll to work up burns quickly enough the, that we'll be able to burn through the length the, of the uh, sock. The length of the sock. Probably one more stream. Probably and we'll one be more able to stream. Get to the and heel. We'll to get to the, the heel. heel will be another stream. The heel will be another on stream. Its own. That tends to be a little bit more. Uh, that tends to be a little bit more time uh, intensive. Time intensive. And then we'll go and up. Then and do the. We'll go up and do the. Do the leg. Do the leg. And since we've already woven, woven since we've in already the toe, woven bits. in the toe. Bits. We don't need to go back and don't fiddle need to with go any back of this. and we fiddle just, with any of this. We can just finish off the top, the cup, finish off be done the, top, the cup, and be done. Which with is it. why I love a toe. Which is why sock. I love a toe. I don't have to pull out my needle for to very pull much out my at needle all. for very much at all. Oh my 
This is an even row. This is an even row. Knitting as it lays. Just knitting as it lays. Put the yarn over his bead knits. Put the yarn over his bead knits. Naturally, for this particular pattern, that's not for this case particular pattern. pattern but that's not the case in all patterns. In this pattern, that's how we're treating. In it. this pattern, that's how we're treating it. I'm really looking forward to actually gaming. I'm really looking on forward Tuesday. to actually gaming on Tuesday. I think that'll be fun. It's an interesting game if you're not familiar with the banner. It's an interesting game if you're not familiar with the banner. What I've seen, it feels very much from the little bit that I've played. It feels very much like a Dungeons and Dragons. Very much like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of a kind of a game. You know, kind of a game. 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 Kind of a feels very similar and your decisions appear to and have your repercussions appear to have to repercussions sure you, uh, so you have to make sure you uh, you make the decision that you're comfortable you make making the decision your that you're comfortable making for your character and it appears you play and it multiple appears you play you're telling a story or you're, you're telling you're a story experiencing you're, a story from you're experiencing a story from multiple viewpoints so I'm looking forward to it. So I'm looking forward to it. So that's something that I'll have to do over the next so that's couple of days. So that's something that I'll have to do over the next couple of days. Is make sure that I'm setting gaming. the stream up for gaming. See if my overlay still works see for that game. See if my overlay still I'll works try for it that game. See. I'll try it out and see. I may have to shut off a few things. I may have to shut off a few things. Or create a new gaming overlay. Or create a new gaming overlay. I don't know. Oops. Oops. I was browsing my I was browsing my I wanna say it was Facebook memories. I wanna say it was Facebook yesterday. memories. Yesterday and there was uh and there was a pattern a, that came up in there. A pattern that came up in there. For a shawl. For a shawl. That was super cool. And that I had totally super cool forgotten and I had about totally it. So forgotten all about it. I have so to bump that one up in my queue. I have to bump that one up in my queue. Because cue. it was lovely. Because it was it just was a straight lovely. and it was just a straight um, um, knit shawl with knit uh, shawl a few short with, rows. Uh, a few short rows. A few short rows and some a few short rows um, and some there were these little uh, slits. There were these little actually uh, along the side of one actually along portion the side of the shawl. Of one for the portion other of the shawl end to weave for through. the other end to so let it wears in a very so interesting manner. So, manner. so in a very interesting manner. Without the need so for any pins or anything the need along for those any lines. Pins or anything along um, those lines, if you're so inclined. Um, so if you're so inclined. So um, that's um, definitely a. Something I, that's think I need to do, a, but something I think I need I think to do, that but striping yarn, I think or that a striping yarn, yarn or a gradient very yarn well for a shawl would work a shawl very like well that. for so a shawl. Have check a my shawl stash. like that. So I'm going to have to check my stash. And see if that's something that exists. And see if that's something that exists. I am now on. I am now row three. On row three. So I'm knitting two, purling so I'm one, knitting two, purling one, knitting two together, knitting two together, yarn over and purl, yarn over and purl. Knitting two, knitting two, purling one. Those mm -hmm. first three stitches are all those. The same. first three it's stitches are all the same. same. It's order only the two together the and the yarn the over. Two together and the yarn over. Show you the pattern. I should be able to show you a pattern a little bit clearer after, after, this. after this next row. After this next row. A frog in my throat today. A frog I tell in my throat today. I tell you. 
just a little tickle where I kind of have to cough, but not really a full cough. But not like really a, a full cough. Zoolander, just like a Zoolander kind of cough. Zoolander kind of cough. It's the Blenaglung pop. It's the Blenaglung pop. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep drinking, hoping that I'm going so I keep to be drinking, able to hoping that I'm going that to down, but it's not working. That down, but it's not Excuse working. Excuse me a moment. Excuse me a moment. Oh, oh, it's just not working. It's just not working. Foot. I do like going across foot. the foot. I just do like going knitting. across the foot. Just straight knitting. Just those few seconds of being able just to those few seconds of not being able to pay attention to what's actually happening attention to what's actually meditative my needles. It's very meditative. Also put up. Um, I will also put up on my um, information of how I'm working this pattern. This, how I'm working this pattern. I'll include photos and my notes. I'll include and photos and my notes. I'm trying to find a way stuff. to I'm trying to find a way to control my own um, um, projects and where everything projects. is. I've been on a few different on a few different that have shown websites options that on have shown. Keeping track of your projects, keeping track of your projects and your cues, and all of your patterns and that sort of thing. Um, basically, we need a basically problematic a website that takes care of problematic website that takes care of all this stuff. That would be great. That would be great. Or some software that I could just or some software use that I could just not worry about it. Use um, and not worry about it. Um, anyway, anyway, it is what it is. It is what. So I'm trying to find some. So I'm trying to find some sort of a database that isn't going to just sort of sell or Google Sheets or whatever that works for me. Whatever that works for me. We'll see. This is row four. So I'm just going to work across the row. I'm just going to work across the row as it lays. But that is a big project because it. But that is a big project because it means I have to coordinate various all of my things together. Various things together. And so it's slow going. And so it's slow. I'm going. not familiar enough with. I'm not familiar enough with. Excuse me, with Evernote or anything along with those Evernote lines or anything really along those lines. Use of that. Really make use of that. There's got to be something out there. That There's got to be something out there that, that works. That works. For now, I'll just for keep now, track of it I'll on my blog. Keep track of it on my blog. And that's where it will be for now. That's where it will be for now. We'll see. I don't know if I've linked my blog. I don't know if I've linked my blog in my socials. Um, I'll have to check that. Um, I'll have to check that. Okay, let's take a look at this. Pattern. Okay, let's take a look at this pattern. I think there's enough there that we can. I think there's enough there that we can see it. Oh yeah. Oh see yeah. It. Oh yeah. Feels like this is oh, a yeah. really big. Sock, Feels like though. this is a really big sock. Though. Oh, it's not too bad. Actually, no, oh, it's not too bad. Actually, oh, let's see. How's oh, this? Let's see. How's this? Can you see that? Can you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get this centered on the camera. I'm trying to get this centered on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. The pattern is a little bit lost. The pattern with is a little bit lost of, with these splotches. The blue. Of, the blue in there. In there. But it's just a general lacy. But it's just a general lacy look. Look, those little lace holes. Those little zigzag lace up holes foot. zigzag up the foot. So, so it's pretty good. That was another pattern repeat. That was another pattern, repeat, was another right? so pattern that. repeat, right? So I marked that. Okay. Let's And I'll 
I'll do a proper measurement of and my I'll do a proper sure measurement of my foot to make sure that I actually know sure that it's, it's length. something I'm like sure nine that it's, and a quarter it's something inches. like nine and a quarter inches, roughly, roughly or twenty or twenty three centimeters, roughly three centimeters, roughly. So, but this is written for so, inches. But this is written so for if I inches. Leave five centimeters so if I leave for five centimeters for the foot length. The for the foot length, for the heel, heel because it's saying two inches shorter than the desired two foot inches length. shorter than the desired foot length finished length. This is going to be stretchy too. Although this I don't know if it's going stretchy to be stretchy. Too, although I don't know if it's going to be stretchy vertically or if it's going to be vertically stretchy, or if it's going to be stretchy. Wide. Just wide obviously is not a problem. For wide my obviously is not a problem for my foot. First in, I'm going to shut off this light first again. Light first light again. Light. The sun's starting to come out again. No rain. The sun's starting to come out again. No rain. Um, anyway, I don't know anyway. that it's going to be stretchy. I don't know that it's going to be stretchy or not. Or not. But as we go, when we get closer to the but heel, as we I'll start go, when we get closer to the heel, I'll start making trying it sure on that it's making sure that it's going to work. It's going to work. But the heel is my favorite but part. The heel is my favorite because part. It's just so magical. It's just just so magical to see when a pattern just works. When a pattern just works at the end of it. At the end of it. You're left with. You're left with that. Oh, that, I did what it was supposed oh, to do. I did what it feeling. was supposed to do. Feeling. This is row one. So this we'll be putting one. the yarn over before. So we'll the be knit putting the yarn together. over before the knit two together. Yeah, this is an easy pattern to remember. Yeah, this is an easy pattern to remember. That's nice. I just sat yarn over before the knit. I just sat yarn over before the knit, and then I sat, here and, and then I sat here and stared at it for a moment. Okay. Okay. Two together. Two together. Row one. Row one. Yarn over it. Two together. Yarn over it. Two together. I just said that wrong. Please disregard I just said what that I wrong. said. Please disregard what I said. In terms of the pattern. I did it correctly. I did it correctly. I said it wrong. It is what it is. It is knit what it two. is. Knit two. Row one. Row one. Yarn over. Knit two Yarn together. Over. Knit two together. Row one. Row one. If I stretch it out, you can kind of see Ooh, that. If I stretch it out, you can kind of see that pattern a little bit better. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. Seriously, it's like looking and trying to center Seriously, yourself it's in like a mirror. And trying to center yourself in a mirror. Anyway, you can kind of see it. Anyway, you can kind of see it. I just get so turned around. Just get so turned around. I was watching a stream the other day. I was watching a stream the other day, and I enjoyed it. Was a good it, stream, but and it took me a long it, time to figure out. It took me a long like time to figure out. It looked like the person was knitting backwards. I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Turns out their camera was just flipped. Turns out their camera was just flipped. So it just looked so awkward to my so eyes. I couldn't so figure it out. So awkward to my eyes. I couldn't figure it out. So I might have to flip the camera just so, so I can I might show have to you flip folks the camera how just actually so works. So okay, how this actually one works. Done. Okay, row one is done. So I'm not a fool trying to. So I'm not a fool trying arrange to arrange it in camera. Arrange it in camera. Who am I kidding? I will find other Who ways. Who am I of kidding? Being a fool, I will find so other ways of being a fool. We may as well so just take this one as a given. We may as well just take this one as a given. So weird to see yourself from so a different weird angle. To see like yourself it. from a different I'm angle. Watching like my it. hands I'm on screen. My hands on screen. The top down view is not exactly the top down how view I see is not exactly how I see it. That's okay. That's okay. And we're working into an even row here. Into an even up. row here. Coming up. Nice and fast. Nice and fast.
tummy starting to rumble. Must tummy be starting to, to rumble. Supper time. Must be getting close to supper time. I did sneak a little snack at the I did break, sneak though. a little snack at the break. Just a little chocolate. Just a little chocolate. Because of course I will. Because of course I will. That's what I do. That's what I do. Always sneaking chocolate. I have chocolate always hidden. Sneaking chocolate. All I have chocolate over the place. hidden all over the as place. As well as in plain sight. As well as in plain sight. It's funny because that's it's funny part of the way that my family knew. Part of the way that I knew that I was pregnant. The past that I was pregnant. I said no to coffee and chocolate. I said no to coffee and chocolate. Those were dark days, my friends. Those were dark, dark days, my days. friends. Dark days. Both coffee and Both chocolate. Both coffee and chocolate. They just made me ill. They just made me ill. It was funny because when I was pregnant with our second child, um, my spouse bought me um, a cappuccino my maker. My spouse bought me a cappuccino maker. And I announced my pregnancy. And I announced my pregnancy. And I announced my pregnancy. And he was very disappointed and because that meant very that disappointed the cappuccino maker for several months. cappuccino maker for several months. So. So. Fortunately, I didn't go as long Fortunately, I didn't go as long with my coffee my for that pregnancy as I did with my others. So we were able to use, it was only just a so few we were months able to use, it was yeah. only just a few months before, Had to wait yeah. for the cappuccino. Had to wait for the cappuccino. It was a Mother's Day present at that time. It was a Mother's so. Day present at that time, so. Those were fun times. Those were fun times. Never really occurred to me that never pregnancy really occurred to me that you always hear pregnancy about the pickles and ice cream. You always hear about whatever. pickles and ice cream. Fortunately, I never had any of those. Fortunately, types I never had any of those. But I did find that I things. But I did find my that I first child. I with really my first craved, child, I really craved fresh stuff. Fresh stuff. Um, and um, and if I said the like, if I said the say water like, tasting, I don't want to say a water lot of tasting, tasting, but a lot of raspberries. Lettuce. I could not raspberries. Get I could raspberries. not get enough of all raspberries. All the fresh veggies that I could get all my hands on. All the fresh veggies that I could get I my just, hands on. I just on. wanted all that. I just, I just really wanted all fresh that taste. Really fresh taste. That's weird. That's weird. But then my kid is weird, so maybe but then there's my something kid to is that. Weird, so maybe there's something to that. Oh, I love them. Oh, I love them. I love them. Wouldn't take I any of them. it back. Wouldn't take any of it back. Maybe a little bit back. I'd like Maybe to be able to tie back. my shoes. I'd like to be able to tie my shoes. But, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's always interesting to see how different. It's always interesting to see how it different. different. Experience it different. Everyone's different. Every baby's different. Everyone's Every different. Every baby's different. different. Every pregnancy's different. Every parent experiences it differently. Every parent experiences it differently. Excuse me. Excuse me. A nice easy oh, pattern. This is such a nice remember. easy pattern to remember. It's a lovely change. It's a lovely change. Stop saying, oh, this is easy to, to remember. Saying, oh, because this is easy to remember. Two stitches later, I forget. Two stitches later, I forget. I do this to myself. I do this to myself. I will all 
also post a photo of today's video. I will also knitting post a photo on of today's knitting right now. on my Instagram. If for no other reason than this is for really no other reason this is up really one of the first shaping up to be one of the first successful socks, I've, knit, socks I've knit in a very long time. I've just been struggling with I've my knitting. I just don't know. With my knitting. I just don't know. It's not so much of a slump. It's not as so much of a I just slump. Can't seem to get it right. I just can't seem to get it right. So it's nice to have something. So it's nice to, to have something easy to to go with. To go with. All right, and I'm about to start. All right, row and I'm about to start row here, four of our pattern here already. It's a nice fast repeat. I do it's a nice like fast repeat. I do like that. I'm gonna have almost three inches. I'm gonna have almost soft three inches. Maybe we will be able to get to a heel. We will be able to get to a heel. Second string. In a second string. If it goes this quickly, if it goes this quickly, that would be something. That would be something. Good way to catch up on my twelve. Good way to catch up on year. my twelve socks for the year. Have a quick. Uh, have a quick. Uh, quick knit up pattern. Quick knit up pattern. Let's say that's cheating exactly. Let's say that's cheating exactly. But it's taking it easy on myself. It's taking it easy on myself. I think. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to being done with Honestly, this. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to being done with this bobbin. Not a fan. But I think I mentioned oh, that. But I think I mentioned that. Okay. Okay. I think I'll do one more full repeat. I think I'll do one the more four full rows and then we'll call it a day. Four rows and then we'll call it a day. We made some good progress here. We made some good progress here today. All right, so that was number four. So that was number four. We're getting foot. there. I going know, across getting a little quiet in here. I'm starting to get a little tired in here. I'm starting to get a little tired. Sorry for that. That's one thing I do Sorry have to work that. on. That's one thing this, I do uh, have to work on for this uh, this endeavor is finding things. This to talk endeavor about is finding things to talk about with you guys because sometimes I, I tend to sometimes retreat I, I tend into to my own head. Retreat into my own head sometimes, and that's contrary to what the goal is. Contrary to what the goal is. For this project, right? And I'm trying to be inclusive with and my I'm trying language. to be inclusive with same my guys. I apologize. Same tends guys. I apologize. <laughs> tends to be gender. Not ideal. I'm working on Not it. Not ideal. I'm working on it. Working on it. Working on it. Because we want our. Because we want our. Our loved ones to feel comfortable. Our loved ones to feel comfortable. And that means being inclusive. And that means being inclusive. All right, row one. All right, row one. Two pearl. Two pearl. Yarn over, knit two together. Yarn over, knit two together. Pearl. Pearl. Knit two. I 
thought I had dropped, missed a stitch. I thought I had dropped, missed a stitch in the previous yarn over. Row. I thought I missed a yarn over. We're okay now. We're okay now. For some reason, it looked like five For stitches, some reason, not six. It looks like five stitches, not six. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm bring it two together. All right. Okay. Bring it two We're together. Okay. okay. We're okay. That's what happens when I talk. That's what happens when I talk. Distract myself. Distract myself. the soul and then we're across the soul and then we're doing repeat. two of our repeat which again is just knitting which again is just working knitting each stitch working each as stitch it lays. as it lays it's funny looking at it's the, funny looking at the um, captioning um, captioning it's wrong on so many words it's wrong on so many words <laughs> Keep saying, maybe it's my accent. Keep saying, maybe it's my accent. I don't know. Like it's just now telling me that. Like it's, it's just now telling me so many that morons. it's wrong on so many. I don't morons. think I say morons like I, don't I think say I say words. morons like I say words. But that's what it picked up. But that's what it picked up. I realize that I mumble as well. I realize so that I mumble as well. Is so enunciation is a problem for me. Apparently. There's always so many things There's always to so many things with. to improve oneself with. Okay. Okay. Row two. Row two. Close to three inches yeah, done we'll by the time to three we're done here today. Done that's really time we're done here today. That's really that's great. a really nice fast. That's a really nice fast a fast knit, which I love. Fast knit, which I love. Considering we have another sock to do after we have we're done this sock one to do after that's we're good. done this one. That's good. I don't know how long the uh, I don't know how long the uh, the leg is supposed to be or intended the leg is supposed to be or intended to be for this pattern. So I'll have a look at that. But it's usually it's look at that. But usually it's another five or six inches. Five or six inches. No rain yet. No rain yet. I'm just gonna have to just not chance. I'm just gonna have to just, just not my chance it and just water my plants. They're so pretty this year. They're I so have pretty this lilies. year. I have, I have lilies. Um, I have some irises which are some not some irises which are not <coughs> I need to get out to my back I need to get out to my garden back garden which I haven't done yet and which I haven't done out. yet I haven't done it clean yet that out. I haven't done it yet it's year. really hard to do with the heat wave it's really hard to do with the, the heat wave couple of days I just haven't had the last couple of days I just haven't had the time to get but I can it. see but the plants I can that see are in there the plants that are in there the hidden are doing the very well are doing I think I have uh, I think two I have or three uh, hostas. I think I'm actually going three to split. I think I'm actually move. going to split and move. They are definitely ready for that. They are definitely ready for that. All right. What row did I just do? Row two. What I row think, did I right? just do? Row two. I think. Right. Fairly certain. Fairly certain. This will be row three. So this will be row three. So we're putting the so yarn over putting the, the yarn together. over after the knit two together. My internet's starting to go. <laughs> My internet's starting right. to go. <laughs> knit two together. Right. Knit two together. Yarn over. Pearl. Yarn over. Pearl. So this 
this does kind of look a little bit. This like does kind of look a little drain. bit like bubbles going down a drain. It's interesting to me to, to consider to how a designer to has, consider how a designer the has on the name. What was the influence on the for name? designer? For a designer. Sometimes it's fairly obvious. Sometimes it's fairly obvious. Mm -hmm. But other times, mm -hmm. but other times, you just gotta wonder. You just gotta wonder. All right. Point two. All right. Point two. Two together. Two together. Uh, uh, I just split the yarn. That's fine. I just split the yarn. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Knit two together. Knit two together. Yarn over. Yarn and over. All right, that's row three done. All right, that's row three done. Oops. Oops. And we knit across the foot. And we knit across the foot. Goodness, it's already five o'clock. Goodness, yeah. it's already we'll five o'clock. Yeah. We'll finish this one row. row. Yeah. We'll finish this one row. Row four. We'll finish this row lace four. pattern. We'll finish and this lace pattern. We'll day. And mm -hmm. then we'll call it a day. Some sucker. Mm -hmm. we'll go get some my tummy sucker. is rumbling. My tummy is rumbling. It's starting to be loud enough that it's I'm concerned. It's starting to be loud enough that I'm concerned that you can hear it. <laughs> As it lays, as it lays. Oops. Knitting. Oops. Knitting the yarn over. Knitting the yarn overs. 